In this video, we will go through the computation questions from one CXC, CSEC, multiple choice mathematics examination. Remember, calculators are not allowed in this exam. To get the most out of this video, pause it here and resume when you have an answer for each question. If you get stuck on any, check the description below for the link to the video that covered that topic. Okay, let's go. I answered questions 1 and 3 in previous videos. Check the description below for the links if you want to see the working. The answer to question 1 is B and the answer to question 3 is B. Question 2. Negative 3 squared plus negative 2 squared. Negative 3 squared is equal to negative 3 multiplied by negative 3. And we are adding that to negative 2 squared is negative 2 multiplied by negative 2. Negative 3 multiplied by negative 3. 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 9. And a negative multiplied by a negative is a positive. Positive 9. We are adding it to negative 2 multiplied by negative 2. 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4. A negative by a negative is a positive. Positive 4. 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. The answer is C. Question 4. 0 0.386 multiplied by 0 0.06 is approximately equal to 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.06. Multiplying with all the decimal point, we have 4 multiplied by 6 is equal to 24. When we are multiplying decimals, the answer has the same decimal places as the sum of the two numbers being multiplied. So we have 1 and we have 2. So the answer would have 3 decimal places in total. So it's approximately equal to 24 with 3 decimal places. 1, 2. And we use a 0 as a placeholder. 0 0.024. 0 0.024. The answer is... A. The answer is approximately equal to 0 0.024. The answer is 0 0.02316. Question 5. If you already did algebra with me, this would be easy. What number, which we don't know, let's call it x, when added to 1 and a third, give 2 is equal to 2. We minus in 1 and a third from both sides. So we have x plus 1 and a third minus 1 and 1 third is equal to 2 minus 1 and 1 third. 1 and 1 third minus 1 and 1 third is equal to 0. So we have x alone on the side. x is equal to 2 minus 1 and 1 third. Of course, 2 is the same as 2 and 0 over 3, because 0 over 3 is the same as 0. And we're minusing 1 and 1 third from it. 2 take away 1 is equal to 1. Then we have both fractions over the same denominator. So we write the denominator back. 0 over 3 is the first fraction. And the second fraction is 1 over 3. 0 cannot take away 1 to leave a positive number. So we borrow 1 whole number. 1 from 1 leaves 0 whole number remaining. 1 whole number as a fraction over 3 is equal to 3. So it's 3 plus 0. 3 plus 0 is equal to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. The answer is 0 and 2 thirds or just two-thirds. So x is equal to two-thirds. The answer is b. If you have convinced yourself that you don't understand algebra, it is a little bit more difficult. You have to understand 
that this statement means that you have to find the number that when added to one and a third gives two. To find this, you have to subtract one and one third from two. As before, two subtract one and one third gives two thirds. The answer is B. Question six. I know that they ask for the exact value in this question, but the answers are so far apart that we can do a rough calculation. 37.26 divided by 1.8 divided by 1000 is approximately equal to 40 divided by 2 over 1000. It is approximately equal to 40 divided by 2 is 20 divided by 1000. It's approximately equal to when we take 20, we divide it by 10 to the third power or 1000. We move the decimal point three places to the left. We end up with 0 0.020 or just 0 0.02. The answer we're looking for closest to 0 0.02 is B. I am Mr. Dubé. Remember, to get the most out of my channel, please view the videos in order using the playlist. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.